What's up guys, welcome back to the video, Atkins Auto Detailing. And so the last video I posted was that I got a trailer. And so this video is of the setup I did for it. And so without further ado, let's show you guys the trailer. So here's the 5x8 trailer I got. I got it from Tractor Supply. And so here is all the setup for it. So I'm just gonna kind of go through everything and tell you guys how this whole thing works. So there is my water tank at 65 gallons. I also got that from Tractor Supply. And I used to have that right where like this box is. And it really put a lot of weight on the front and then on the back of my Jeep. And it didn't travel very well at all. And so you want the heaviest thing towards the front, but also you want it on the axle of the trailer, just kind of above where the wheels are. So it doesn't put so much weight on your car. And so yeah, I'm just a few nights ago, I moved that around. And so I used these mounting points, drilled them in, and then used two ratchet straps to secure it. It, it's kind of uneven because the trailer's at a tilt, but yeah, so I got that and then I got that connector from Lowe's and there's a towel wrapped around it because it kind of leaks a little bit, but I'm going to fix that permanently, but it's not a huge deal. It's not a whole lot of water. And so that is in the off position and then you flip that up and then it turns on. So the hose goes over there, this box, and I, I can take it off, but it's kind of mounted on there right now. This hose comes around, hooks into the transfer pump. And so that end goes in there, it goes to here, transfers the water into this water hose right there, up into the Pro Aqua water deionizer. Got that all strapped down nicely. <laughs> and then this hose here, Kind of out of it, loops around and goes into my Ryobi 1900 PSI pressure washer. And then I did buy like a hose reel for this, but honestly, this is easy enough. It Velcros on and so there's no issue. And it's, I can just unvelcro it and then stretch it out to, to pressure wash a vehicle. So that's the water setup. And then this is the, Generator, I will soon have to get a bigger one, but this one is 2,500 watts from Champion, and it's done wonderfully so far. I've had it several months, and so I literally plug the pump into the one of these, and then I plug this end of the extension hose reel into that, and then I plug the Ryobi cord into one of these three outlets here. And this thing is amazing. I have it all mounted down and it's super easy to just unwind it and then it reels back in. Extremely useful tool so you don't have to like wind up a extension hose reel every time. And so that I highly recommend. And so yeah, it's all just mounted on this and the exhaust fumes aren't too much for this or anything, like nothing melts, uh, as long as it's pointed kind of in the air away from everything. So that works really good. That utility bin there just houses my polisher, my steamer and some foam pads. And then this one back here houses the carpet cleaner and then that solution and extra fuel for the generator. I used to have the carpet machine in my car and it smelled disgusting. So definitely always pour those out, always clean those out, but just for ease, easiness, I just put it in this bin. And so here is the setup, guys. It has done me so well. It's so much easier just pulling up to a house or an office and just firing that thing up 
and just getting it going. And the 65 gallons lasts quite a while. It does take a minute to fill up, but I highly recommend a bigger tank. I used to have, I still have a 24 gallon in the back of my Jeep. And so if I only have like one car or something, I just fill that up. But this gives me a little more peace of mind. So if it does leak, it's not in my car. It's just on the trailer. And so yeah. If you have any questions, please comment them down below or any suggestions. I do want to get a cover just so if I do have to run in anywhere, like out in the open, my stuff's not just out there. But, and this is just a, a drill. I'm going to put, put it in the car. But, uh, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do, I did have a tarp on the back of this gate that had my logo and my number, but it created so much wind resistance that it was in one of the holes like ripped because of highway speed. So, but if any of you guys have any suggestions for my trailer, or if you have a trailer, what do you do? What is your setup? Please comment down below. I would love to hear any suggestions, tips, and see how you run your detailing business. This thing has held up very well so far. Get you a whole view of it here. I'm glad I got the five by eight. I was looking at the four by six, but that would have been way too small for all my equipment. So really, really happy with the five by eight. And I also got this wheel jack from Tractor Supply. I became their new best friends. <laughs> so I unhook it from my Jeep and then just uh, this thing swivels so it goes flat. So there's no, no way that it can hit the ground or anything. And then I just untwist it and then use this crank reel to, to heighten it up. And super, super happy with this setup. And with that tank filled, it's not all the way filled, it's like to, it's like the 55, 60 gallons when it's like flat, but my Jeep pulls it way better than when that tank was up here. So yeah, guys, that is my Jeep uh, trailer setup and I'm so happy with it and it turned out really good and it's one of the best investments I've made so far. And so again, if you have a trailer set up for your detailing business or however you run your detailing business, I would love to hear about it. And so drop a comment in the section below and tell me about yours. So this is mine and I'm very pleased with it. But give me any tips and tricks that you have uh, that I can make mine better. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Please stay tuned for the next video. And I will see you guys later. Have a great evening. Peace.